the National High Magnetic Field Laboratory. Whether it is probing the far reaches of our solar system or searching inside the human brain, magnets are changing our lives and the world we live in. Through magnet research, scientists are developing new materials that impact nearly every facet of modern technology. When the headphones went from these big things on your side of your head to the little ones that sit inside your ear, that's the neodymium iron boron magnet. Look around you. Electric lights in our homes, computers on our work desk, high-speed trains, and magnetic resonance imaging that opens a window to our doctors. All came about after researchers learned more about materials and living structures through magnet-related research. Magnetism is like a magnifying glass. When it's used in uh, various kinds of equipment and magnets and spectrometers, allows you to look inside materials inside the molecules, inside the atoms. The preeminent magnet research facility in the world is the National High Magnetic Field Laboratory. These are the strongest magnets in the world, whether they run continuously, whether they run in a pulsed mode, or whether we need to have a very uniform magnetic field. They're the highest in the world. The Magnet Lab is the only facility of its kind in the United States. It is a collaboration of three institutions, comprising Florida State University, the University of Florida, and Los Alamos National Lab. The facility in Los Alamos, New Mexico, specializes in pulsed magnets, and Gainesville, Florida, hosts the MRI and high B over T research magnets. The Florida State University complex is located in a state-of-the-art 330,000 square foot building in Tallahassee, Florida. The lab is funded by the National Science Foundation and the state of Florida. Unlike many research facilities, this is a national multidiscipline facility open to all qualified users from throughout the globe. Since its dedication in 1994, more than 700 scientists visit the lab every year, spending a week, month, or multiple months using these one-of-a-kind magnets. This is a do place. This is where you come to do the work. Physicists, biologists, chemists, biochemists, and engineers request time at the facility, which makes the lab a dynamic environment to explore the frontiers of science and engineering. What is attracting the worldwide interest? This, the most powerful and unique magnets found anywhere in the world. These include the 900 megahertz or 21.1 Tesla superconducting magnet. MRI machines used in many medical facilities typically use a two Tesla superconducting magnet. Tesla is the unit of measurement for high magnetic fields, just like miles are for measuring distance. The 900 megahertz complements the other world record magnets at the Magnet Lab, including the workhorse 45.1 Tesla Hybrid, which has a magnetic field one million times stronger than the Earth's magnetic field. The goal to reach even higher magnetic fields with pulsed magnets is within reach at the Los Alamos facility, and scientists are moving confidently towards the significant milestone of 100 Tesla. A chance to work with the world's largest and most powerful electromagnets has drawn worldwide attention to Tallahassee and maintains intense user competition. This die appears to be bobbing in water, but in fact, it is levitating in space by magnetism. When you have a strong enough magnet, you can actually levitate things. Uh, zero gravity experiments that people think you need to go into space for can now be done on Earth. Though the lab is often filled with smoke and mirrors, this is not science fiction. The cutting edge magnet research will drive the new technologies of the future. Three, two, one. This magnetically launched rocket is the first step towards propelling robots into deep space. And lift off of the spatial endeavor. Magnets will replace conventional fuels to provide the intense thrust necessary to hurtle a spaceship to the moons of the outer planets and beyond. NASA engineers are collaborators with the facility in their development of the next generation shuttles. 
The U.S. Navy's fleet of the 21st century will be all electric, using magnetic propulsion for a safer, more efficient and powerful drive. The research which began at the Magnet Lab is now continuing under its spin-off, the Center for Advanced Power Systems. The science behind magnetically levitated trains is already in limited use. Germany, Japan, and China have prototype maglev trains moving passengers at speeds of up to 300 miles an hour. Electromagnets are clean, they're fast, and they're controllable. Cars and the fuels that power them is chemist Alan Marshall's unique field of research. Using his one-of-a-kind ion cyclotron resonance technique, Marshall became the first person to identify all the sulfur compounds in crude oil. Once we can locate the sulfur, we can then try to eliminate it to improve air quality. Cleaning up the Everglades is Vince Salter's field of research. Magnets help us identify the food that is available for organisms and animals to eat, for instance in the Everglades. Magnetic resonance imaging has changed the way doctors view our bodies. At the Magnet Lab's sister facility in Gainesville, magnet research is allowing doctors to make higher resolution images of the brain to study the effects of epilepsy, strokes, spinal cord injuries, tumors, and Parkinson's disease. Tim Cross is studying another well-known and particularly deadly disease. You may be surprised to realize that tuberculosis kills more people each year than the often fatal AIDS virus. We will be using magnets here to develop a picture of the drug targets, which then pharmaceutical companies can use to develop new drugs uh, for the marketplace to help prevent this curse on, on humanity. Cancer cells are under the microscope in biologist Mike Davidson's lab. Look closely at these cancer cells dividing and multiplying in this amazing video caught by Davidson in real-time microimaging. The new advances in cell biology will certainly make a, a first step towards finding cures for cancer. The more you know about cells, the more you're able to determine what goes wrong with them when they become cancerous. Though fascinating and entertaining for many, Davidson's website on microscopy has become an invaluable education tool used by more than 200 major universities to teach courses. If you take a wing like this and you get the air to move faster on the top than you do under the bottom, the wing will go up. The hands-on approach at the facility is not just for PhD scientists and globe-trotting engineers. Explaining magnets and the excitement of science to the next generation is a key mission of the staff in local classrooms as well as at the Magnet Lab to ensure the success of future generations. On the count of three, one, two, three. Hundreds of elementary and high school students visit each year to learn about the Magnet Lab and to get a broader, more general understanding and appreciation for the benefits and endless possibilities that science has to offer. With magnets in hand, explorers of the past dreamed of discovering new worlds. The National High Magnetic Field Laboratory is unraveling the once mysterious world of magnets and is now guiding current and future researchers and scientists to new frontiers in science and technology.